Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing some of my favorite Amazon finds with you guys. Now I've got some stuff for my toddler, I've got some stuff for me, and I've got some um, of the extracurricular items that we're going to be using for next year that I'm really, really excited about. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you guys is a baby wearing carrier. Now I'm actually currently baby wearing <laughs> because she's sleeping, but um, I feel like the only way I've been able to homeschool successfully this last month is through baby wearing but she has not liked a lot of the carriers because we have an ergo a lily baby and then a baby wrap and the only one that she likes is the baby wrap but the only problem with that is it's like 50 feet long of fabric and it gets so frustrating especially when we're outside of the house and I'm trying to put it on and it's scraping across the parking lot floor and it's just getting gross and so um I took to Amazon and I found this amazing boba bliss carrier that's a mix of a traditional carrier but also a baby wrap like look at how like stretchy that fabric is it's so comfy and cozy and breathable that she just like gets in there and she falls right asleep and you know the color is also very beautiful so this is the first thing I want to show you guys and I'm going to link everything down below so if you are currently homeschooling with a baby or you plan to be homeschooling with a baby that you're going to be welcoming into your family this coming year I cannot recommend this carrier enough it is so comfortable and cozy it doesn't hurt my back and I absolutely love it and she can just settle in and then I can do all of the homeschool mom things that that I need to do. <laughs> the next thing for me are these little booklets. It comes in, I think, a four pack. Um, but it's been so nice to have something that's like a little journal where I can keep track of, you know, whatever we have coming up or if there's a curriculum that I want to research, I can write it down. I don't know why I'm showing you all the pages like that's something different. <laughs> but I've loved having these little notebooks and they were very inexpensive and it's just been nice to have something where I can like write my thoughts and, and ideas for next year and then I can go back to it so I don't forget anything because us busy homeschool moms, we, we have great ideas but sometimes we just forget stuff, you guys. All right, you guys, I was talking too much and woke the baby so now I'm gonna move on to the stuff that I have for my toddler that he has absolutely loved. Um, the first thing is this cute little puzzle. They have all of these different colored beads and they're magnetic so you have like this little pen and you can take it and you can move it to, um, well I mean it works better when it's laying down but you can take it and move it to the proper colored cup. And then the cups also have numbers on them so you not only can you work on colors but you can work on numbers as well which is really nice and really cute. My toddler has loved playing with this and just trying to get the balls into the correct colored cups. And then the next one I'm going to show you is this book series that he has fallen in love with. At our co-op in his class, they um, were reading these books. And since then, I've tried to get every book from this author that I could find for him. It's a bear series. So this one is Bear Feel Scared. And all of the stories about this bear are him with his friends and then just going over different themes so i think we have one on colors we have um this one like with what he does when he's scared and how his friends help him and then um here's another one for bear's new friend so what do they do when they find a new friend and um just like what you know new friendship can look like so I think it just teaches like really cute lessons for toddlers and then it has a really cute story about a bear and all of his friends and it's very colorful so you can point out different parts of nature and things to your toddler and get them to talk to you about the colors and all of that um, now the next thing that my kids have really loved are these beginning sewer kits on Amazon. Um, it's really nice because it comes with directions, it comes with everything that they need, and the needles that it comes with are just like those little plastic ones, so 
you know, if they poke themselves, they're not hurting themselves. And um, they haven't opened up that one yet. But like my daughter has done like little food projects. So she's made this little egg and this little cupcake. And this is something that they spend hours of their time doing. And then they get, you know, these cute little things afterward. And it's it's been really nice to have that as an activity for them. Now, as far as the extracurricular items that I got for us for next year, um, you guys know that I am trying to teach my kids how to cook here and there. So, and you know how much I love DK books. <laughs> so I got them a DK books, Science of Cooking. And this is a really neat book. So it goes over everything that you could possibly think to ask for cooking. So um, like this one is, what are the benefits of marinating meat? And then it goes over, what are the benefits? How long should meat be marinated for? Um, myth versus truth about marinating meat. Uh, well seared. And then what are the basics of how to create a good marinade and the flavors that you should use and the acidic um, ingredients that you should consider and then um, just like a whole bunch of different things like it's like how to tell if like an egg is fresh uh, how can I heat milk without forming a skin and just all of like the science stuff between behind cooking that you know not many of us know but that it would be really nice to teach as part of a curriculum how do bananas help ripen other fruit and then just all of the science behind it so i thought that this would be a really fun thing to work into just teaching them to cook nothing formal it doesn't have to be anything crazy but you know maybe if we're going to be doing you know some marinades on our meats then i can flip to that page we could just review it real quick not anything that's going to be like a formal a formal unit study or anything like that. I thought that this would just be fun to kind of work in here and there if I'm browsing through it and it kind of lines up with what we're making for dinner or something that we want to make for dinner. Now, the next thing that I am so excited, I didn't even know that this was like a thing until I just randomly came across it on Amazon, but I am very much for the natural healing <laughs> aspect. I do think that there is a place for Western medicine, but I don't always like to just jump to shoving medications down everybody's throats when we get sick and things like that. And so um, I, I have, I'm signed up for this free homeopathy, homeopathy, whatever, everybody pronounces it different, um, <laughs> class. And so I got them this Like Cures Like homeopathy activity book for kids. And I'm so excited to kind of take that class with them so we can all learn together. There's like little coloring pages. And then there's a coloring page for, you know, if you have a cold, what, what uh, remedies are good to take. And then in the back, there are these little remedy sheets. So you can write down five symptoms that it can help, what the remedy is, um, draw where the remedy is derived from below, and then just information about the remedy. So I thought that this would be a really cute way to, to learn something that interests us and um, just to kind of explore that more. And then with that, I'm gonna purchase this herbal class that I found online uh, for me and my kids to take together so we can learn about different herbs and what their benefits are and what their healing properties are and things like that. And so I also found this workbook that is Herbal Allies for Kids. And it's kind of the same setup. Um, It'll go over, you know, like buying herbs and what to look for. It has ways to consume herbs. And then um, you can have a herbal monograph where you have the common name, the scientific name, the origin and growing conditions. And then this herb can help and then some lines to write what all it will help and then any safety precautions that you need to consider for it. And then it'll also have parts used. So do you use the leaf, the root, the flower, or the berry? Okay, and then to go along with that herbal class and our workbook, I got another book from DK, um, but it's the Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine. I thought that this would be just a really great way to, to complement what all we would be learning through the class and find ways to kind of work this information into our notebook. 
or our worksheets. Just these workbooks alone, you guys, it makes me really excited to to explore what we're going to be learning next year. Um, you guys know I've struggled with history and science this year after welcoming the baby. It's been a challenge to try to hit all of the subjects in homeschool that you want to hit. So when you get materials that you're like really excited about, I feel like it just kind of stirs up that passion and you're like, yes, let's get it next year. And so I'm really excited to sit down and plan that and just use those with the kids. Um, again, I will link all of these down below in case you saw something here that you are interested in trying out. If you have a baby, I 100% recommend that baby carrier. It's like the best thing ever. I, I think that's like one of my best purchases <laughs> that I made for her and I'm just so happy with it. So uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button. Let me know what one of your favorite things that you've purchased from Amazon recently is. I would love to um, see what everybody is purchasing and just see kind of what's out there. This is how we, we learn all of our opportunities and possibilities is by sharing with each other. Uh, that is it. I will see you guys again later. Bye.